This is John Black, super chemist, here to show you how to make some calcium hydroxide. Uh, here's the equation. I'm going to use some calcium chloride and some sodium hydroxide. You can see I need twice as much sodium hydroxide than I do calcium hydroxide, uh, calcium chloride. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, it will make calcium hydroxide and some table salt. So Danfrit is has about 60 to 100 percent calcium chloride, 5 percent of two other salts, sodium and uh, potassium. It's kind of a screwed screwed up MSDS, it's stupid, but that's what I got. So I'm going to use 200 grams of Danfrit, and I'm assuming because I've already made calcium carbonate that it's a crappy uh, percentage. So we're going to go by 60%, which would be 120 grams of the 200 would be calcium chloride. According to our stoichiometry, we're going to need twice as much sodium hydroxide. Now, if you got 111 grams is for a mole of this, and we're saying there's 120 grams in there, that's a mole and a 10% of a mole. So for the first mole, we're going to double this on, on, on here and make 80 grams. And then we used 100 grams uh, to put in that extra 10% and to make it, uh, we want a high pH, okay? That should give us 74 grams of, well, actually 10% more, 84 grams of calcium hydroxide. Now, this is a weird fact, but calcium hydroxide is actually less soluble in hot water. Okay, I know most stuff is more soluble when it gets hotter, you know, most salts, but not calcium hydroxide. It's the opposite. And the higher the pH, if you have other hydroxide anions in solution, that makes the calcium hydroxide even less soluble. So you want a high pH and you want it hot. Okay, and there's another reason why you want it hot. Okay, I boiled my water because carbon dioxide is not soluble in boiling water. Okay, and that is what is screwing up making hydroxides. Is carbon dioxide changes it into a carbonate so fast it's unreal. And I'm talking about like minutes. Uh, you'll have impurities. And I, I basically just did this bec video because I've tried to make hydroxide several times and I keep it just keeps turning they turns into a carbonate. You can't have any carbon dioxide around when you're doing making a hydroxide or storing a hydroxide. Uh, you can see I have 200 grams of damp red there and 500 milliliters of water and a thermometer and we're going to dump that in and dissolve it all thermometer is about 19 degrees why is it bubbling? now it's at 40, 40 degrees now I boiled that and I could not get it to all dissolve. So and I couldn't get it out with a paper filter. So I used a frit filter and it did a good job getting it out. I'm gonna I'm doing it a second time here. But I cleaned out the frit thing in between there and I cleaned it out with some hydrochloric acid and it was bubbling there too. So I don't know what that was. It was in there, maybe some carbonate was in there. Uh that was insoluble. Uh, so there I got it out and it's crystal clear. It was crystal clear the first time I did it through the frit, but I'm doing it a second time. And now I'm going to boil this up and uh, make sure it's really, really nice and hot. Everything hot, including the uh, frit filter funnel. I'm going to have to have everything hot. All right, I'm going to put this sodium hydroxide like 95 grams into this water maybe about 200 milliliters that should heat it up my apparatus 
you see down at the bottom I have a round bottom flask and it goes up with a vigor X column and on top I'll put a filter now I boiled the water that had the, uh, the, the damper in it I boiled all the carbon dioxide out I don't know how good it'll be I heated everything up Okay, I'm going to add the sodium hydroxide to the damper lid. And I'm going to put it in the filter. Stir it up a bit. Now this is the part because it's all wet. I don't know if it's going to work. I mean, because it's so hot, it might boil it off at a low pressure vacuum on it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, there you go. There's a year. That's like 105 grams. But I mean, there's probably 10, 15 grams of water on there. Let's put it in some hydrochloric acid and see what happens. There's like zero fizzing. None. Wow, I did it. All right, just to compare a couple things here, a couple carbonates and hydrogen carbonates. First, just a little bit of what we made already, the uh, calcium hydroxide. You see how it fizzes now? Now it's calcium carbonate. Alright, here's some uh, potassium carbonate. Some sodium bicarbonate. See how it does it? It's a big difference. All right, and I want you to keep in mind that, uh, you know, I only washed it once, you know what I mean? I, I got the boiling hot water, I added in the sodium hydroxide, I got my precip, and I put it through the the uh, funnel. You should wash that more, more than just once. You should put some uh, more hot water, boiling hot water, uh, through your hydroxide, you know what I mean, while you're filtering it or whatever, to wash off some of that uh, table salt that's on there. I didn't do it because I just wanted to see if it was even possible to make a hydroxide. Like, how fast does it does that CO2 come in and screw it all up? You know what I mean. Uh, so I did it once just to see, you know, make sure that it can be done. Uh, but keep that in mind, and always keep it boiling to, to make sure that the CO2 is kept out of your solution. You know what I mean? Plus, it's the calcium hydroxide is uh, less soluble, so you can filter it out. Uh, remember, you, you have to store this in a bottle. I mean, you've seen when I compared uh, the carbonates, it only took a day or two for that uh, calcium hydroxide to turn into calcium carbonate. And I didn't even throw it into water and take it out and throw it into water and take it out. I just set it in the glass jar and you know put it on a radiator. That was it. You have to boil the water to get the CO2 to stay out. And that means heat up your whole I heated up my whole apparatus in the oven to make sure I didn't touch, you know, just start pouring boiling hot water through room temperature glass, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't want to do that. Uh, always remember keep the high pH. Throw in extra sodium hydroxide. Can't hurt. Now we started out with calcium chloride at 60%. That's 120 grams. 
That's like maybe 10% over a mole. So we should have gotten 10% over a mole for this uh, because the stoichiometry was one for one. Uh, but we ended up getting 105 grams minus 30 in water. That's 75 grams. We actually got... Um, Oh, we actually got almost pretty much exactly a, one mole. So we lost 10% of a mole there. Uh, so if we had one mole here, it was a one-to-one -one ratio for the carbonate. And a mole of that is 100 grams. But we only got 77. So we lost 23 grams there, too. Anyways, always remember, science is great.